Thanks, Frank. Everyone at Collierville Middle has something to celebrate this school year. Students and staff opened a brand new building, and while they were sad to see their old home go, this new home of the Dragons comes with quite a few exciting features. Visit this new gem of the system in today's School of the Month report. Traffic is moving at a much different pace between classes here at Collierville Middle, where students and staff are christening a brand new building. It's been awesome. It's, um, it's a fantastic place and um, it's so bright. And I'm just really glad that I get to come to this school. It's really refreshing to be here and I really love it. This 15 acre site opened back in August. The multi-million dollar facility comes with quite a few new features and everyone has a favorite. When you walk in the room, a lot of the rooms, you don't have to worry about turning the lights on and off. You just go in, the lights, all, everything is automatic. I love my classroom. I think it's a, a nice big space. I, I get the kids up and moving a lot. My favorite things is lo the lockers. I've always wanted to have my own space. I like the gym because it's air conditioned and um, the computer labs. The new Collierville Middle is state of the art, wired for the latest technology and housing three computer labs. A wider main hallway may seem mundane, but it's a welcomed addition for CMS Teacher of the Year, April Robinson. The extra space means more room to experiment for her inventions and innovation students, a class based in STEM education, which focuses on engineering and technology. Real world problem solving, like you have to, you're not given a set of numbers, you have to measure and figure it out. It's nice because we have that wide open space that we're able to use. Um, I'm right by the doors outside, so we can go outside very easily if we have an activity. Science is another major component of STEM education. Students here have access to two new science labs, up to date with the latest equipment and plenty of space to explore. Having all of the countertops and all of the space where the children can work and get down on the floor and, and do whatever you need to do, because sometimes you have to get in there and get dirty. A favorite on almost everyone's list is the new gym. It's air conditioned, has a hardwood floor, and features the newly designed school mascot. The school's award-winning music and visual arts programs also have a new canvas to create their art. We can do more collaborative pieces, you know, push the desk back and do things like that. In this art building, we have like so many more like tools to use and we, have, like, we can like use our hands like to sculpt and stuff and we're just working on a lot more art projects than we did in the old school. Many teachers and students still hold a special place in their hearts for the old building but their new home is bringing even more praise on this exceptional school. Ask anyone here though, and they'll tell you it's not the building that truly matters. It's been like family. It's like the people here are just so nice and kind, and they just take you into heart. I've you know, been in probably five schools in my career, and I've never been with a group of people like this that are just so phenomenal and so fantastic and, and so welcoming and warm and such a team. We're all family. Uh, we share in ups and downs, good, bad, and we bring that with us wherever we go. For Shelby County Schools Report, I'm Ted Beasley.